is a separate language. You don't have to speak any language to communicate the language of love. It is so so. The language of love can be understood by any mothers. Although they don't know English or Hindi or whatever, but they understand language of love. Yes or no? Give a bread to a dog. You give him and tell, I will give you a bread. He may not understand, but when he eats, then he understands. What is bread? Yes or no? And this person loves me. He understands power. Love means service. Selfless service, that is the language of love. And there is a different kind of bliss that you call Ananda in such service. Such service, there is a different kind of flavor, different kind of feelings which generates in our heart. This body is wired in such a way it is it is favorable for love, not for lust. That's why you see when something I want and it doesn't get fulfilled, what happens? The different kinds of hormones they secrete in our body. When we are stressed, different kind of hormones are produced, which are dangerous for our health, which are bad for our health. And when there is love, there is cooperation, there is positive ambience, where there is selfless service at its mood, environment, then naturally there is sense of security, there is sense of satisfaction. And then what we feel is a different kind of hormones generates in our body. The body generates itself different kind of hormones just due to the emotions, different kind of emotions. That's how we are wired for it. Sometimes people say, because hormone comes, that's why we get feeling. No, first feeling comes, then comes hormones. That is the process. Just like simple example, what happens first? First tears comes, then you feel sad or first sadness comes, then you get tears. What happens? First comes sadness, then comes tears. Yes or no? Tears is like a hormone. The body is producing gross hormone. The symptom of feeling is expressed through hormones or tears or whatever. But this is just a symptom. They are expressed, it is expressed in these terms. So that person can feel that I am sad. Sometimes people hide the feeling. The lust has two faces, attachment and avarice. If it gets fulfilled, if you fulfill whatever I want, then it means you are my good friend, otherwise you are my enemy. So I envy you. Then that's why sometimes the person doesn't fulfill what I want, then we start envying that person. We start disliking that person. Even though if he is doing that for my good sake, like parents, they are stopping children for something because it is good for them, but they start seeing them as, as their enemy. But love has nothing to do with, you know, some, this kind of activity which pleases me or displeases me. If it is good for me, that is love. Try to understand the principles.